I think it might be worth just sort of spelling it out, the range of foods and drinks that we consume that involve fermentation. Yeah, sure. So, I mean, broadly speaking, you know, fermentation is the transformative action of microorganisms. Uh, there's nothing we could possibly eat that cannot be fermented in a variety of ways. Um, people in every part of the world uh, practice fermentation. It's really integral to culinary practices everywhere. Um, you know, when I try to imagine, you know, why is it that fermentation is so universal? Why is it practiced everywhere? The conclusion I come to is the simple reality that microbiology has now illuminated for us that all of the plants and all of the animal products that make up our food are populated by microorganisms. So there's a certain inevitability of microbial transformation of our food. Our, our current understanding of fermentation was only established uh, uh, in the second half of the 19th century. Um, but, you know, the general observations that, oh, under these conditions, food decomposes into a disgusting, ugly mess. And under these contrasting conditions, the food is somehow elevated. It uh, becomes more stable for preservation. It becomes more delicious. It becomes more digestible. Some toxic compound gets removed. You know, people everywhere learned how to work with this invisible life force that, that's part of all of our food. And, you know, the, the range of things, I mean, you know, from the standard Western diet, you know, um, bread is fermented, cheese is fermented, cured meats are fermented, um, you know, condiments are either directly fermented or rely upon vinegar, which is a product of fermentation to stabilize them. Uh, uh, some styles of olives are fermented, pickles are fermented, obviously beer and wine and spirits all involve uh, uh, fermentation. Uh, go into other parts of the world, I mean, things like fish sauce, things like soy sauce, miso, um, you know, incredible range of flatbreads and, uh, you know, even fermented porridges uh, uh, that people enjoy around the world. So, I mean, there's, there, there, there's a huge diversity. I mean, many people don't realize that chocolate involves fermentation. It's the cacao at the place where it's harvested. Uh, coffee uh, involves fermentation. Vanilla involves fermentation. Certain styles of tea involve involve fermentation. It's, it's a pretty vast area of, uh, you know, human cultural practice.